two. Hi and welcome back to Pasta Chef. Tonight we are in my garden cooking one of my favourite vegetarian recipes, which you may be surprised to hear, having barbecued so much cow in the last number of weeks. We're going to cook tonight just a white mushroom and truffle risotto. Really simple recipe. We have three shallots, finely diced, one clove of garlic, a couple of hundred grams of fine risotto rice, a knob of butter, a little sprig of thyme, 200 grams of just plain ordinary mushrooms, uh, a good couple of handfuls of spinach, a lemon, and then we've got these really important ingredients at the back here. We've got extra virgin olive oil, really delicious olive oil. We've got a lovely truffle oil, and then we've just got salt and white pepper. We've got a liter of stock, good slug of olive oil. First thing I'm gonna put in here is the shallots. Shallots are beautifully sweet, sweeter than onions. You want them to go translucent and see-through, not brown and bitter. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop these into here. I'm gonna chuck in a few of our mushrooms, just like that. And at this point, just a little bit of salt. Now the salt, just a tiny bit, you don't want it too much because your stock's gonna reduce and you do not want risotto that's gone over salty. So a little bit of salt helps to draw the moisture out of the mushrooms and the mushrooms are gonna to have to fry. So all the moisture has to come out of them first and then once all the moisture is reduced off, the mushrooms are gonna intensify in flavor. They're gonna be the lovely backbone of our, our risotto. Garlic goes in at the end of the frying bit. In goes the risotto rice, just gonna move it around, get it coated. Now I'm gonna add a spritz of this lemon. Just let that soak in. Let's get a bit of this stock in and just begin to very gently cook that rice. Now you can see how this rice is soaking up all of that beautiful vegetable stock. And we're just gonna, as it dries up, we're just gonna add a little bit more stock at a time. Let the rice plump up. And now what I'm gonna do is just add a tiny sprig of thyme. We don't want this to dominate at all. We want the truffles and the mushroom to come through most. So I'm gonna add this little bit of thyme. Thyme is a lovely warm herb. It just, it, it adds like a, just a coziness to a dish, I think. Um, so just chuck in a sprig like that and let it just kind of meld into those flavors. Mm. Mm. Just gotta be patient for this. <laughs> do you like the smell of risotto? I do. I like the smell of the onions frying. <laughs> Kira's our dodgy lodger. Coming closer, Kira, you can see this. All of the moisture on top of this rice has gone really thick. Now's the time for us to give it a stir. We're gonna finish this in a couple of different ways. The first way is to add our truffle oil. The second is to add a knob of butter and we're gonna throw in this spinach at the very last minute because it will cook almost instantaneously. So here we go with a tiny bit of truffle oil, a good slug, okay? We want that truffle flavor in there. Oh, can smell that. It just explodes off. When you put that oil in, it hits the heat, just explodes off there. Gonna put this knob of butter in. We're gonna add this spinach in and literally gonna pile that in there, stir it in a tiny bit, and then whack a lid on this pan. Okay, and that's gonna sit for about three or four minutes. Just let everything come together, and then we're gonna serve it up. And now's the time to taste. Make sure it's seasoned. Just drizzle on a tiny bit of this truffle oil. So luxurious, so tasty. You don't want to drown it, but you just want to have a hit of that running through. Mm. Mm. That is so good and so hot. <laughs> <laughs> but so good. Oh, it's just rich, luxurious, silky texture. Rice is cooked all the way through. Got those mushrooms 
and then the explosion of that truffle oil. It's so deep, it's so many levels of flavour. Excited? Yes. It smells, it actually smells incredible. Mm. I don't like mushrooms, but now I do. Ah, oh, awesome. So simple. Mm. Not you, Kira. That's actually the amazing. Food. <laughs> 